Well, hello there, Gemini. It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are doing your December career and money tarot reading. We'll take a look at the overall energies with the oracle cards and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I'd really appreciate it. If you would consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. I really do appreciate all of your support. Okay, so let's see what we have for this last month. Rabbit spirit, now is the lucky time. Oh my goodness, a wandering path. Enjoy the journey. Okay, um, there's this energy that, um, you know, something new is coming onto your path. Um, you know, it's kind of interesting. It's kind of as if this energy of wandering through, you may have at times thought you weren't even on the right path. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like this path is taking such a meandering kind of a way. Um, and yet at the same time, it's kind of meandered because there's this lucky break that is coming up for you. Um, it's almost as if the divine slowed your path down a little bit in order for this lucky break to come in at the exact time that you need it to. Um, a really kind of interesting, especially, you know, I'm kind of getting the message that if you felt like November was super slow in your career and money sector, you may have been putting a lot of time and effort in. And yet <laughs> at the same time, things were not really quite working out. You, They weren't paying off for you. Um, and it's kind of this energy that the reason is, is because there was something on your path, but it had to come in right at the right time. It's almost like a Christmas miracle. Yeah, you're trying to really achieve something here. You know, um, wow, this is lovely energy. Okay, so we're going to take a look at your present energy, any area of resistance or obstacle this month, and then um, finally, um, oh my gosh, this is lovely, um, and then finally the advice from spirit. Okay, so underneath, look at this. We have um, the healing light and we have, to be fair, which is the justice energy. You know, things coming into balance, this healing light coming in in order to balance out your own um, uh, it's really the sense of internal healing that you are doing. It's not external healing. It's kind of this internal healing. You put a lot of time and energy into your career and money sector, and yet at the same time, you're not really seeing the the fruits of your labor yet. You know, it's kind of like um, it's kind of almost a little bit playing with your self doubt. Um, or your, even your self-worth trying to figure out, like, when is the success coming in? It is. It's coming in. But with it comes a new beginning. It's almost like you're gaining clarity. I feel like for a lot of you, it's almost a sense of going, I'm not saying that you're completely changing the direction of your career and money sector. It's almost as if a new avenue is opening up. Something that, um, you know, say you have your own business and things have been going fine. And yet uh, in November, you could have felt like things came to a standstill. Like maybe they didn't deplete, but they, they weren't growing the way they were. Or, you know, you, you just been putting all this time and energy in, but not really kind of getting very far. Almost that hamster wheel type of energy, right? And then I feel like this really interesting new break lucky break comes your way it opens up this sense of clarity about how to um kind of meander go around this obstacle this block that you may feel like you have but the block was there put there in purpose um it's almost like you've been putting your time and energy um, it's not the wrong path, Gemini, okay? It's just that you're going to be taking this slight turn, almost to the right. They're showing me like this slight turn to the right that is going to bring you so much more prosperity and success. You don't see this new opening coming up. It's, um, it, and once again, it's not like you're completely uh, erasing everything that you're doing. It's really kind of like a tangent, a little bit of a tangent, going a little bit in a new direction. So it's kind of, um, it's really interesting because it, it's, 
It's a better way for you to be more financially successful, but for you to also reach a larger audience, something that you maybe haven't thought of before, or or maybe you've thought of, but you didn't think that it would be possible for you. This break comes along to help open up this new path for you. So here you are, you know, you're spending your time trying to manifest this achievement in your career and success and, and money sector. It's this energy of putting your time and effort into it, you know, knowing that, you know, I think you stuck with it because you knew eventually you were going to be successful. Um, you know, you may have had times where you doubted yourself or you doubted the universe, you know, but at the same time, in the back of your mind, you just kept going because you knew eventually this lucky break would have to come. It's a sense of persevering, you know, um, a sense of persevering for a very long time, perhaps, you know, even years, um, watching something grow, but growing so slowly that, you know, you could have even had friends or family that were kind of like, why, why are you sticking with this? Yes. Oh my goodness. Look. And then we have the Ace of Swords after the Three of Swords. I feel like you're disappointed right now. Disappointed in how things are moving along for you. Um, now it's interesting. We have the Queen of Wands and we have the King of Wands. I think for some of you, there's a new person coming in that helps to inspire you or, or a business partner or somebody that helps to open up this new break. You know, for some of you, it could be, you know, um, a client of yours that, that loves what you are putting out there and then they recommend you, you know, to, um, um, a bigger audience, you know, um, it would be something, you know, where you get a big, you know, maybe you're invited to be on a podcast or, you know, um, something like that, where you kind of get, there's this sense of getting a little bit of a bigger audience, a break where you can share your information, um, almost like sell yourself. You know, maybe somebody's trying to, um, you know, I know in my area where I live, we have a local um, like magazine and they'll do spotlights, you know, on the different people in the community, small businesses and stuff like that. Like maybe, you know, it's something like that. Like you get a spotlight article um, about you and it really helps you to shine your truth. It's kind of like, I'm not saying that you're advertising in the wrong uh, sector or anything. It's kind of, it's just this energy of feeling like you've been kind of blocked. Like your word wasn't getting out there big enough and you've had the strength to kind of like, persevere through all of this and now this break with the full card here it's this energy of oh my gosh I'm going in this new direction you know like for instance you know you go say you're on a podcast you go on the podcast and then it opens you up to doing something totally different than you maybe thought that you would do in in the past like maybe you um were always intrigued by podcasts or something you go on this podcast Podcast, and then from that, you start your own podcast, you know, something like that. Like you're just kind of opening up your audience, um, your, your sector of people that could be drawn to who, you know, to what you are providing. Yeah, because here, here's your area of resistance, your obstacle, you know, you're putting out your, you're putting out your love, your light, your, you know, spiritual gifts, your talents, your creative abilities, you're putting them out there with a lot of love, right? But you're not receiving back exactly what it is that you were hoping to receive. You know that some Thing has to change, right? When we consistently are putting things out, but we're not having the same come in, we know that we have to make a change. Something has to change. And I feel like maybe you have been even looking for what is blocking me? You know, why, why am I not reaching a bigger audience? You know, why is my product, my service not taking off? You know, you could have thought, oh my goodness, there's a lot of competition or there could have been, you know, this sense of feeling like 
you know, nobody is really um, embracing what I am doing. Nobody really cares about what I'm doing. You could have had this even mental five of wands energy feeling, you know, a little bit kind of defeated because it's kind of like, yeah, I just don't understand, you know. So let's see what this is. And then we're going to get to your advice. Let's see what we have. Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups, Page of Cups. My goodness. And then we have the devil on the bottom with the six of wands okay gemini you know we have the full moon in gemini coming in on december 7th um and i feel around that time look at we have the temperance and then we have the seven of swords gemini uh, and then we have the star card okay i love this energy because what it's kind of indicating to me is that there is something that you are you are kind of uh, like blocking there. You're blocking <laughs> this own uh, lucky time from coming in. There's a chance that you could miss this kind of almost like a portal that you're walking through with this full moon in Gemini. You could miss it. OK, if you're kind of staying in habits or patterns or even thinking patterns, right, that are blocking your own success. The six of wands is being recognized by others, but it's only because we recognize within ourselves, okay, our own um, unique love and light, our spiritual gifts, our creative abilities. When we acknowledge and kind of like are in this high vibration of understanding just how important our gifts and talent, our love and light are needed as a healing um, key to the collective. When we step into that energy ourselves, okay, and then we can attract in other people that also love it, right? That want to purchase it, that want to be part of our community that we're trying to grow. Now, here's the thing with the devil energy here. There's something that is blocking you from seeing your own love and light, okay? Um, it could be, you know, just a habit. Um, the devil can represent any type of, you know, um, you know, sometimes we say addiction, but it could be, you know, just habits, eating habits or partaking in things that, you know, bring our vibration down. Think of anything that you may have at this time. It could be even clutter in your house, anything that is lowering your vibration. Because at this time with the full moon in Gemini, the full moon in Gemini is all about releasing things that are pulling down our energy. That can be things, it can be habits, it can be thinking patterns, it can be relationships. It can even be the way that we, you know, approach our work, the routines that we have. It's about decluttering, okay? Decluttering those things that are pulling down your energy. Um, think about it. When you go into your closet in the morning, if it's cluttered, okay, and the clothes aren't hung up or organized in any way, and you, you have a tons of clothes in there that you haven't even worn in 10 years, right? Getting dressed in the morning can be a very uh, low vibrational, right? It can take you a very long time to even figure out what you're going to wear, you know, stepping over things that maybe are on the floor and that type of thing. But if your closet is decluttered, everything's hanging up in a nice, neat, orderly way, right? And you only have clothes in there that you do wear on a regular basis, right? Then it's kind of like you go in, you can easily see what it is that you want to wear, you can get dressed and you're out the door, feeling good about yourself, right? Starting your day off in a much higher vibration. Well, I ask you, you know, to think at this time, what is there in your life that is kind of like pulling down your vibration? You know, sometimes, you know, it's the sweet treats that we eat, you know, that can lower, we get that sugar high and then the sugar, you know, low. Um, it can be, you know, just kind of like 
spending a lot of time, um, you know, uh, on things that are zapping our energy, are not helping us to put our best into our work. And I feel like sometimes we get into these energies, okay, when things are kind of like not going the way that we want them to. And I'm, once again, Gemini, I feel like you're working really hard, but it's almost like you're not working really smart, if that makes sense. You know, it's kind of like taking a look look at how you are approaching your 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 work perhaps it's even the word work right instead of saying oh i have to go to work you know you could say oh i get to go create right now um it's really about taking a look at those things that could be just pulling down your energy and then right revisiting okay i'm giving back my love i'm really putting back my love and light into my work into feeling like you know recognizing yourself how important your work is it's almost like all of this has in november has you've had a little trough it's almost as if you have to reconnect yourself to your own work, to reconnecting to the people that you are trying to reach. It's almost a sense of recognizing yourself as a spiritual leader before you can actually attract in the people that are going to want to hear what you have to say. All right, so let's take a look at um, your advice. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we have clean it up and fragmented energy. Yeah, once again, I'm going to come back to this devil. If you think about it, if you fragment your energy, if you have clutter in either your environment, in your life, or even in your mindset, right? Um, it just fragments your energy. Go back to that closet, right? It's kind of like, and I'll, I'll have to admit, my closet has on occasion gotten that really bad where literally you're stepping over things to try to figure out what's even hanging up right um and it is it's very frustrating you know um you can't find the things that you're really looking for you know um I, I remember I also had this light in a closet once that was dim. And then I really realized <laughs> that that dim light was really preventing me from seeing clearly what was in my closet, right? And when I replaced that light, I was like, oh my goodness, you know, it's really taking a look at what is kind of frustrating you at this time. And it doesn't even have to be in your career and money sector. It could be in other areas of your life, but it's in impacting the way that you are showing up to your work. So I really encourage you to think about the words that you're saying to yourself about your career and money sector. But it's also about, you know, what are you eating? Are you exercising? Are you getting the sleep that you need? Are you also playing? You know, are you enjoying yourself um, and not just spending a lot of time just working? And is your work effective? Are you doing it in an effective way? This time, especially with that full moon in Gemini, it's about cleaning out all of that fragmented energy that you may have so that you can see clearly okay your path forward and you have the upper <laughs> you are going to be so successful it's like this lucky break comes along and i'll honestly say gemini i feel like the lucky break is right there in front of you it's almost like you have to clean out this clutter so that you can see it um, it's not like it's truly hidden from you. It's almost like it's camouflaged because of all of the other stuff that's around it, you know? So let's go and clarify this. Oh, there's a justice card. The Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're balancing this out. You're getting back... It's almost like you're getting back into your own energy, okay? Because you're balancing out perhaps some of these things that have been holding you back, those patterns or limiting beliefs, you know, even habits that you may have in your life that have been holding you back. You're balancing that out and it's taken a little bit of time. Once again, I feel like the month of November, you may have just felt like you were just creeping along, right? And now in December, it's kind of like you're moving forward very quickly. 
It's a lovely energy. Finding, finally, the success that you have been looking for. Um, I really love that energy. Okay, so let's go to your Soul Truth card and see what we have here. And Gemini, I do do personal readings. So if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. So let's see. Am I in my head or in my heart? What is the quality of your self-talk? Our brain is like a muscle. If we condition it daily, the fears and limitations will take over. Mastering our thoughts is about being the creator of our own life. Where our head meets your heart, where your head meets your heart is where miracles happen. Yeah, and I feel like, you know, it's almost as if with your career and money sector, even maybe with other areas of your life, you've been kind of like living with your head, you know, um, you know, kind of like almost like checking off a to do list, you know, say you get up every morning and or when you start, you know, work every day, you kind of have this to do list and it's kind of like, OK, I'm just I'm getting through it. It's almost this energy of I'm just getting through it. And now I feel like you're reconnecting, right? You're putting this love back into, um, I think you're just reconnecting with the why. Why are you doing what you're doing? Who are you trying to reach? You know, uh, what is it that you have to say? Um, how do you want your clients, your customers to, um, leave, you know, from your um, shop or your experience of being with you, meeting you? How do you want them to feel? And then you're reconnecting with that. Instead of having a checklist, you're like, oh yeah, this is why I'm back. <laughs> you know, this is why I started this business or this is why I started this career. This is where I want to go. This is the connection. It's almost like you're reigniting the connection inside of you with the people that you are trying to reach. I love this. I really and truly do. All right. Well, I'm going to leave it there, Gemini. I wish you so much love and light in this situation and all your situations. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.